Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making Spanish rice. Now, I call it Spanish rice, some people call it Mexican rice. I'm not sure if it really matters. My family grew up calling it Spanish rice, even though we are Mexican. Whatever, I don't care. Um, anyway, this is what we're making today, Spanish rice. Um, there are different ways to make this. This is the way I make it. This is the way my my family makes it. So yeah, I think it tastes good. Lots of people have told me it tastes good. So we're, I'm going to show you how to make it today. Um, now, traditionally, rice is cooked in like a deeper pot. But what I find is that this, a shallow, more like a skillet type pot, this, this a pan, this works much better. And with a lid, you're able to cook more evenly, you have a bigger surface area underneath to, to contain that heat. So this is what I use. I have my gas burner here. Now in Germany where I live, it's very standard in houses to have electric. I love cooking with gas, so I bought myself a little gas burner and we'll be cooking with gas today. Some things that you're going to need, um, basic seasonings, salt, pepper, and for me, I like a little bit of chili flake because I like my food to be a little bit spicier. The chili flake, you can leave it out. Um, definitely need some salt and pepper. We're going to be making um, one and a half cups of rice. This is basmati rice. This is a long grain rice. It's beautiful rice and it, it takes on the liquid, the liquid very well and it ends up being nice and fluffy in the end. Um, my thing for rice is I use one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water. So for my one and a half cups of rice, I'm gonna be needing two and a quarter cups of liquid. Um, I've got two cups of water, normal, just room temperature water, and then about between a quarter and a half a cup of tomato sauce. Um, I use a little bit more liquid than, than the one to one and a half ratio, but um, it's okay, it'll, it'll cook down and keep the rice together because it's a thicker um, liquid, it's not just water. Um, some onions, this is about a quarter cup of small medium diced onions. Some garlic, minced, about a tablespoon. And another about quarter cup of diced tomatoes. Now for oil or for, you know, I'm not gonna use olive oil or vegetable oil, what I use is I use lard. So some pork lard, it's going to give your rice a very unique flavor. Now if you don't if you don't eat this stuff, if you don't eat pork or whatever, you don't have this, you don't need to use this, you can use um, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, um, whatever you want, whatever you prefer, but for me, the lard, it gives it that unique flavor um, that Mexican food tends to have, because a lot of Mexican food is cooked with with this lard, it's called manteca in Spanish, and this is what you use. So, to get started, you're gonna get your pan nice and hot. So, you just turn on your gas, put it on a nice high heat, and let your pan, whatever you're cooking with, let it get hot, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of putting oil into a cold pan and allowing then the oil to just heat up in the pan. Unless you're deep frying and you have a lot of oil, you're, you don't want to do that. Try to avoid that as much as you can. Try to get your pan hot and then add your oil. You're going to end up changing the flavor and it's going to it's gonna burn if you, it, it just, trust me, hot pan, add the oil, let the oil get hot, it'll get hot really quickly and then start cooking your stuff. Now with gas, it's gonna get hot pretty quickly. Once it's hot, you're gonna add the oil and then you're gonna add your onions and your garlic. Okay, our pan is hot. I'm gonna get my lard or take your oil and add it to the pan. It's going to start to, to dissolve there and go from this solid substance into more like an oil. Um, it's gonna look like oil, it's, it's fat. So it's going to dissolve. It'll take a minute. Just let it get nice and hot. Now, something that I like to do, I like to use something like this. This is a silicone um, spatula. It's not hard plastic. It's it's bendable. It's it's pliable, um, and it's heat resistant up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 450. I believe that's around 200 degrees Celsius. Um, 
you can ask Google and they'll tell you, <laughs> or Siri or Alexa or whoever you have, go ahead and ask them and they'll tell you what that equals in Celsius, but 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It's nice because you can get into the corners of whatever you're cooking and it's they're pretty easy to clean. So now my oil is hot. You can smell the oil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lower my heat to a medium heat. I don't want it to burn all the stuff that I'm putting in there, but you wanna contain that heat and maintain that, that heat in your pan. So, add in the onions. See, that's what you wanna hear. You wanna hear the sizzling when you're cooking. Give those onions a quick stir. Push them around a bit. Go ahead and add your garlic. and just allow those to cook down. You're gonna wait maybe a minute, a minute and a half, you're gonna see those onions start to get translucent. They're gonna, you're gonna be able to see through them. Now, keep moving their stuff around a bit, you don't want it to burn. As soon as you burn that garlic and those onions, it's game over. If you need to, you can turn your heat down if your oil is too hot, if your pan is too hot, um, but if you keep those things moving and your pan's at a medium heat, and your oil was already hot when you put the stuff in, then you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, give that a quick toss. Okay, it looks good. Those onions are cooking down. Now, this is why it's so important to have all your stuff right here at your side. If you're going and looking in your cabin, you need this, you need that, and you're not able to focus on cooking, then you know stuff is gonna cook and it's gonna cook without you. <laughs> and you might burn something, you might end up forgetting something. So. These onions are cooking down, they're looking really nice. They smell amazing. I know you can't smell anything on YouTube. I wish you could. I wish I could. Whenever I watch cooking videos, I, I look at the food, oh, it looks so good. I can't smell it. I wish I could smell it. But, you know, whatever, it's all good. It smells good, trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. Okay, they're starting to get that little bit of like color and that's how I know that it's time now to go ahead and add my rice. Yes, my rice. Now this is this is where things get weird. Most people don't cook rice like this, but you're gonna add your rice to these onions and garlic and oil, and you're gonna give it a few minutes, maybe a minute, minute and a half, and you're gonna stir in that oil and those onions and that garlic into the rice. And you're going to um, cook your rice with all these things in the hot pan, okay? Don't, don't be afraid, you're not going to burn it, but what you're gonna notice is the rice is gonna start to change colors a little bit. Right now you throw it in there, it just looks like rice. You're gonna start to see a little bit of browning and you're gonna start to see the whites of the rice become even more, more white. Um, it's hard to explain, but you'll see it when you're cooking. And once that starts to happen, then is the next step to add the tomato sauce. Okay, this rice has been cooking now for about two minutes. Um, it's starting to change color. I'm, out, I'm getting a little bit of brown. I'm seeing those whites pop in the rice. That's how I know it's time to now add my tomato sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add almost all my tomato sauce, not quite all of it. What I want is I want the tomato sauce to coat evenly all the rice that I have. If I need all of it, I need all of it. If I don't, you know, that's okay. It's, sometimes it's a bit different. So add almost all of it. You're gonna hear it sizzle, that's okay, don't get, don't get scared. Just mix it all in. And you'll notice pretty quickly if you're gonna need more. If you're able to coat all of your rice, which I am not at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my tomato sauce. I'm gonna lower my heat just a little bit for this next, this next minute or so so I can control this better and not burn my tomato sauce. And as you can see, it's all basically like one lump. One lump of rice with tomato sauce. That's what you want. You want it to all basically stick together like that. That's when you know you have enough tomato sauce. And then from there, you're going to add all of your water. And then just break it down. We're at this point right now where we have the water now mixed in to the rice. It's just tomato sauce, it's all sticking together. 
and then water. And once you have the water in there and you have this rice now like broken down, it's all it's not all in a glob anymore. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn the heat up and you're going to bring this to a simmer. And as you can see that pan is really hot. It's already starting to bubble in there. This is the perfect time for seasoning. So what you're going to do for seasoning is you're going to have a spoon handy. Pro tip, always have a spoon, two or three spoons ready at your side so you can taste stuff while you're cooking. You don't have to wait until the end and say, oh, I hope it tastes good. You can taste while you're cooking, especially stuff like this. So what you're going to do now, you need to get rid of that tomatoey flavor. There's a lot of tomatoey flavor in there and you need to balance that out with some salt. So just take some salt, a few pinches of salt, get it in there, get your pepper, take your pepper, do the same exact thing, about a pinch of pepper. And then for me, I told you I like the chili flakes, so I'm going to put some chili flakes, about a pinch of chili flakes in there. Not too much. I like spicy food, but my wife, she can't handle as much as I can, so I have to tone it down a little bit for her. You're going to mix that stuff in. Nice, get it all mixed in there. You want to season it well, and you want to be able to taste it well, so you have to make sure it's all incorporated. Okay. So, everything's mixed in. Get your spoon just a little bit off the top and it's still a little bit tomatoey so I'm gonna add a little bit more of that salt now it's good it's a little bit salty which is good because I still have to add my tomatoes so tomato chunks in get them all in there It's starting to simmer, those little bubbles, that's a simmer. What you're going to do now is you're going to lower the heat to a, a nice low medium heat, not too hot. You want to maintain that slow simmer. If you cook this too fast, you're going to burn the bottom of the rice and it's not going to taste good. So nice low heat, lid on, leave it alone. I know. You know, you want, to, you want to look at it, you want to take the lid off, you want to see how it's doing, don't touch it, okay? Put the lid on, low heat, walk away, go do what you need to do somewhere else, leave this for about 15 minutes, okay? Between 10 and 15 minutes, you can come back, you can see through, okay, there's still liquid, leave it for another few minutes. After 15 minutes, this rice should be completely cooked. If it's not, if there's still some water in there, just put the lid back on and leave it for a few more minutes and then come back and look through and check on it. But in about 15 minutes, this rice should be completely cooked through and ready to eat. Okay guys, we're back. It's about 15 minutes now. Um, I can see through the lid here and the rice is cooked. It's awesome and it looks really good. We're gonna take this off. Steam, the smell is amazing. Put the lid to the side and you can see this rice is cooked all the way through, perfectly fine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna fork the rice, you're gonna you're gonna fluff it up, not gonna spoon the rice, you're gonna fork the rice. Okay? Break it apart, mix it up, look at that. This is beautiful. It's not burnt, it's not stuck to the bottom of the pan. You cook it slow on that low heat, and look at that. That is beautiful, beautiful rice. So serve this up with some Mexican food, serve it up with some chips and some salsa and some guacamole, whatever you want. This is Spanish rice. I hope you guys enjoyed, you learned something. Catch me again on the channel and leave a comment below if there's anything that you want me to show you how to cook or if there's any questions or advice or tips that you'd like in about cooking in general. So until next time, peace.